is the 22nd of January. It's Friday and I'm off to work today. All I'm taking in is this, which is... I've got some 5% total yoghurt in the bottom, which is 158 calories. I've got some glacier cherries in there that I've just chopped up, which are 51 calories. And then in the top, I've got some very berry muesli, which I had in home bargains for 90 calories. So it's 299 calories for my breakfast. And then for my dinner or my lunch, I am taking in another one of the burrito bowls I made, the chili burrito bowls. So that is my lunch and that is 407. And then I'm also taking in a 10 cal jelly, but this one is actually only three calories. So that is all I'm taking into work today. I've got a gusto box arriving hopefully today so i'll probably do a dinner from there i can't remember the calories in the ones i've ordered but that one of those as long as it arrives this week it was a day late last week so as long as it comes i will be doing one of those for my dinner so have a good day and i will catch you later bye i have had two deliveries today my gusto that's where my address was i just ripped it off my gusto a box and this parcel so in my parcel we have dented shall i say but that's fine pumpkin the pumpkin puree i was after two of those i think they were five five ninety nine for two cans so i've got quite a few recipes that i want to do with these so, yeah, Tesco's used to sell it and then I couldn't find it, so I've ordered it on Amazon. Pumpkin puree. Someone's obviously throwing it about, there's a big dent in one. And then I have got my recipes for gusto. I have got pulled chicken and whole grain mustard mayo burger. And that is 695 it says you need extra oil here so you've got to count that in but more often than not i use my um spray oil which is zero then we've got smoky fish cakes fish cakes greens and curried mayo that is 517 calories all in one beef stefado also stew which is 551 and then banging barbecue chicken and spicy sweet corn fritters and one of these will be tonight's dinner whichever one i'll check out all the meat and whichever one needs eating first i will do so i've only just got back from work i'm absolutely knackered so I'm going to go through my box now and check there's nothing missing and then think about which one of these I'm doing. So I shall catch you for dinner. So I'm really pleased with my box now. I've unpacked it all and checked it all and there's nothing missing. There's only one thing that they must have substituted. I'm missing a bag or some kale and I've got peas that don't go with anything. So I think they've substituted... Um, kale for peas and I probably won't use the peas and I'll just stick them in the freezer and buy a bag of kale but these are so good if you've never had one I really recommend these you literally get everything you need for one meal like that's like a sachet of tomato paste red wine vinegar like stock and then cinnamon but everything's weighed out like half a teaspoon everything's weighed out she's got the exact amounts and pasta you even get like one bay leaf which is what you need and these little dinky um things like one teaspoon 
and it's just like oregano and it, all my meat in there is well in date and some of it's until like the beef in there is till the 31st so I really really recommend Gusto every meal we've had has been absolutely delicious I have got a code if anybody wants it so just give me a message on Instagram or Facebook and I can let you have the code so you get money off your first I think I'm not sure if it's your first box or your first couple of boxes you'll get a discount but yeah, I absolutely, I don't get anything out of Gusto for saying that, but I'm really, really impressed with them and I will continue to have them while I can afford to. So yeah, and my husband wants this for dinner tonight, so we'll be having banging barbecue chicken and spicy sweet corn fritters. And that is 609 calories and you need, so... Salt and pepper, don't count that. Vegetable oil, olive oil and flour. But I'll see what they're for. And if I can get away with it, I'll use my zero calorie spray. If I can't, then I'll just use calories on it. So yeah, that will be dinner. So I shall catch you once that's all made. Bye. I'm just about to grill these chicken thighs. Now on the recipe card, it says to add the chipotle paste that you get with a drizzle of olive oil. But I haven't used the olive oil and it's done a good enough job of sticking the um, paste to these. So just got to think of things where you can save calories. So I've saved quite a few calories by not adding any extra oil onto these. You also need oil to fry the sweet corn fritters. But again, I'm just going to use this stuff. Canola oil and it is zero calories and i will stick one of these in my next giveaway you get it in costco so yeah i just put a tiny spray of that in the pan to stop them sticking and then i'm going to be grilling these and getting on with the next this bit is my dinner tonight it's banging barbecue chicken and spicy sweet corn fritters smells really nice so the recipe was 609 calories. I've had to add flour. So it was a tablespoon of flour. So a half a tablespoon of flour for my portion is 35. So the meal is 644 calories, including the flour. Now you needed oil to put on the chicken. I didn't use the oil. And it also said to put olive oil on the lettuce leaves, which I wouldn't generally put oil on my salad anyway unless it's a particular dressing, so I left that out. So I've probably saved nearly 100 calories extra on not using the oil on the two things. So yeah, that is my dinner. I've got over 300 calories left, so I shall show you what I'm going to have for my treats after this. Bye. So these are my snacks that I'm having now tonight. I have got an Aldi mango and passion fruit yoghurt. It's a thick, creamy yoghurt with like a fruit puree base and I've got uh, the yogurt is 209 and then I've got a mallow and marsh salted caramel marshmallow bar which I picked up in Sainsbury's for £1.35 they just had them hanging on the shelf on a strip uh, so that is the rest of my day I'm coming in with 32 calories to spare which I won't be using and then that's me done again for a day. So it's way day tomorrow. We shall see what the scales will bring. So yeah, so that's another week done for me. And I'll catch you tomorrow for another one and a weigh-in as well. So bye guys. Thanks for watching.